That is exactly right, Diana. Winter often does mean wedding planning for many people, or maybe your wedding is in the winter. Either way, Michael Fantaski joining us now to get a little bit more into the wedding planning role. You're the owner of Key Video Productions, also the director of the Buffalo Bridal Association. You've been doing this a long time, very long time. Um, tell me a little bit about the Bridal Association, kind of how they got started. All right, great. Well, we have been doing it through our company, Key Video. We've gotten to know brides. We've shot over a thousand weddings uh, with our video company, Key Video. And one thing that we found over the past 20 years is that every bride pretty much is the same mm -hmm. in terms of the stages that she goes through as she's planning her wedding. Every bride remembers the excitement she felt when he placed that ring on her finger and asked her to marry him and she said, I will. That began the first stage, the excitement stage. And then that quickly moved into the second stage. She asked a few friends, coworkers, relatives, where did you get started? How did you begin? And that started the second stage, which is the planning stage. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't take very long for every single bride to go quickly into the third stage, which I call the fear stage. <laughs> because for the first time in her young life, she came to one conclusion. She's about to spend more money than she's ever spent on things she's never purchased before from businesses she never heard of. Now, how do you take the fear out of that? Because me and Diana were speaking before the show about how it can be kind of scary thinking about how much money a wedding can cost. It, I mean, I've had some girlfriends who have gotten married. Mm -hmm. Some have spent a lot of money. Others have spent a little. And I think people feel pressure almost to well, impress and well, spend money. The average amount of money that a bride is going to spend is about $26,000 here in Western New York. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. And one of the things that the BBA, the Buffalo Bridal Association, does is, is it has monitoring systems built in so that if a bride should have a situation or a problem, she can make sure that she has a place to call, mm -hmm. a place to go. All of our members of the BBA sign a code of ethics stating they're going to operate their businesses with honesty and integrity. Every business that applies for membership has to fill out an application. It goes before an executive committee. We take the fear, a little bit of the fear, out of the wedding day planning because she knows that our members are not learning on her wedding day. Mm -hmm. So we get the word out in a number of ways. One of the ways that we get the word out about the Buffalo Bridal Association is every single Sunday night, Wedding Planning Weekly, showing right here on CW23. Nick Talk to me about that a little bit. Yeah. Show. And Nick Salvatore, um, Beth Clark. Uh, Nick Salvatore is with Salvatore. Beth Clark is with a Bridal Chateau. They walk the bride and groom through a myriad of details mm -hmm. as they're planning their wedding. Tips, ideas, and advice. And then Buffalo Bridal Expo. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. That's our signature event. That's coming up February 2nd, February 3rd over at Seneca Niagara Casino. From noon to 5? Noon to 5 on Saturday, February 2nd. Now, this is Super Bowl weekend. Right. All right? And then on Sunday from 10 to 2. Well, we don't. We don't, really, because on Saturday, we take good care of the grooms. I know there's, there's a hockey game. It's away. Mm -hmm. So Seneca Niagara has these beautiful couches. They've got these big screen TVs. They, they're taking good care of the groom. And the big thing that we do that's a little bit different is we're giving away $30,000 in prizes. Wow. On Saturday. Okay. Bridals by D giving away a $1,000 dress. On Sunday, Bridal Chateau giving away a $1,000 dress. Tuxedo Junction. Um, everybody's contributing to give away $30,000 in prizes. And again, here's the information for the Buffalo Bridal Expo. How do you get tickets to Buffalo this? BuffaloBridalExpo.com or call the hotline 566-1116. But buffalobridalexpo.com is where we want them to pre-register. Right. Because we want to know what they need. And once, they, once we know what they need, we'll be able to help connect them with the best of the best in the bridal industry. Very important information, hopefully, and I'm sure you do relieve a lot of pressure and stress for brides. It's a fun experience, though, it and it is just about, it sounds corny, but it is about the people at the wedding mm -hmm. and the love that people are sharing for one another. And brides are vulnerable. We want to make sure that we connect them with, with vendors who, again, are not learning on her wedding day. Exactly, because you're dealing with a lot of businesses you probably won't ever have to deal again with. Mm -hmm. So There you go. People could be taken advantage of. That's our mantra. A bride is about to spend more money than she's ever spent on things she's never purchased from businesses she's never heard of. There you go. Well, Michael, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too, Nalina. I'm thank kind of you so envious much. of your job a little. It must be fun working with all these brides and grooms. It is. It's the best part of our day when we wake up. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Over to you.